everyone, and welcome to this month's edition of Conversations with Conexus. I'm Linda Toth, Managing Director for Conexus, and with me, I have most of the Conexus team. Welcome, everybody. Howdy. Good morning. So today, since we're nearing the end of 2022, I thought we would do just a little roundtable of the year in review and what you thought um, maybe the top thing of 2022 was, whether it was the industry, something in Conexus, technology, et cetera. Um, so let me start off with uh, David. What was your top thing for 2022? Well, it's hard to select because it was really great. And it was really great to be together in person. Other people here will talk about that. Um, one of my highlights was the the real IoT demonstration at the annual conference. Uh, we had Mike McCool and uh, Tom uh, Quinlan, D. Bolden, Intel in reverse order. But they did actual IoT demonstrations. And then we sort of moved that forward to um, the more advanced AI applications at the end of the year. The progress in that area is very promising to me. Also, some of the fallout from age verification, digital wallet, this is an emerging consumer uh, focused standards effort. And also the engagement of the CPGs, Altria is an active member. These are all like really great things. All right, thanks, David. And how about you? Um, I was really happy to see us get back together at the annual conference again in Tucson. It was great to see everybody face to face. There was a lot of really good work going on. Um, and I, I think for me, that was absolutely the best part about the whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's always nice to be back in Ventana Canyon. <laughs> absolutely. Um, Kim, how about you? Um, I think the great thing for me in 2022 was just seeing Connexus continue to pick up our productivity. You know, last year we were pushing around 10 standards for uh, 2021, and we're going to be right on pace for that for 2022. So I think that we are continuing to put out good quality standards year over year is just is excellent. Great. Agreed. Um, Casey, what about you? All right. So I think I'd have to say my top top is actually joining Connexus and meeting all of you and learning everything. But other than that, um, I really enjoyed working with the Connexus 365 webinars and getting to learn a lot about the industry since I did kind of come from outside of the industry. So it's nice to kind of get in the loop and kind of get caught up. Enjoy that. Yeah, absolutely. And Casey, you've been a great addition to staff. Um, let's see, Jenny, how about you? Well, I had to second Ann and David about us all getting back together at um, at the annual conference. It was great. Um, I spoke with several attendees there, and they said that was the best conference they'd ever attended. So uh, I look forward to 2023 for us all to get back together at Quinana Bay. And another thing I want to talk about is out of the strategy meeting, a good suggestion or to the RBR committee, uh, a new direction or a new mission uh, change, and uh, along with the innovation um, committees that, that probably Gray will talk about. Uh, RBR falls in line to help guide that work along the way with retailers um, being online to help with the working committees it, with any direction or any questions they have. So I encourage everybody, all the retailers to get back involved in RBR. Absolutely. Gray, what about you? Well, you know, the, uh, the the upside of two years of dormancy with uh, COVID was is that there were a lot of companies uh, who were working a lot on new technologies and the maturity level of some of the stuff that we were talking about before 2019, um, artificial intelligence, computer vision, um, maturity level now is it's commercial grade and it's scalable. And so that opens up all new kinds of opportunities for our members. Um, we also saw the emergence of uh, customer pools and alternative networks that we have to interface to. And so our uh, initiative in getting into APIs and data dictionary is really timely um, because we need to externalize those connections to the store. Um, we've pretty much in, we've pretty much completed all the internal connections. And now it's how do we connect with DoorDash? How do we connect with Tesla? How do we connect with any of the other ecosystems that are now emerging so that we can take advantage of their consumer pool? So, uh, you know, that to me is is really what the blow away moment is for me is is just seeing stuff that we've talked about for 10 years all of a sudden becoming commercially viable. Great. And um, I'll wrap this up. I think my top takeaway from 2022 was the reboot of the IRC. 
um, that that really is a great group of retailers that have gotten together. Um, we've got some people from outside our traditional Connexus membership to um, come in and, and kick the tires, if you will. And, you know, that group is rebooted under uh, Doug New and Don Emery's leadership. We've already mm-hmm. taken one field trip out to Spark Cognition and saw some great new technology. So I'm really excited for all of the things that are going to come out of that group. And then David's uh, counterpart, I guess, with the Retail Innovation Working Group to try to um, come up with some solutions for those pain points that the retailers are identifying. So lots of good things um, this year and hopefully next year as well. Yeah, so, and, and, you know, the roadmap, I think, coming out of the, the first cut of the new IRC was just awesome. Uh, the inputs we got from the guys, the clarity of the message. Um, it's I'm looking forward to that one moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. They had a lot of great ideas that went into the roadmap. So absolutely. All right. Anybody else have any final comments, thoughts of 2022 or going into 2023? Okay. All right. Well, that wraps up this edition of Conversations with Conexus, and we'll see you in the new year. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you.